What is up YouTube? My name is Eric Doherty and I'm back with another project. Um, so today, as you can probably tell by the title, I made a bipedal walker. If you don't know what a bipedal walker means, basically bipedal means that it walks on two legs. So you can imagine that building a robot that walks on two legs using only one motor could be kind of difficult, but I managed to do it and I'm going to show you the robot right now. So, as of the moment, I am currently in my basement because, well, if I did it upstairs, I have a vicious black dog with, so if he saw a big giant frame walking, it'd probably either freak him out or he'd get into vicious attack mode and tear it apart. So, we're just doing it in the basement. Now, if you noticed, we got these little, uh, so supports on all corners and I guess you could you could say that yeah I cheated cheated in the fact that it's not really a bipedal walker it's kind of a semi bipedal walker but what whatever details this would total if this weren't made out of connects which are plastic you know if they weren't made out of connects and they were made as a stronger material like um, like if the whole frame were filled in with like a very thin aluminum and then then the motor was like a stronger thing like windshield wiper or whatever and then the feet were made out of like iron or whatever not, probably not iron like strong plastic it, then there would be no need for the supports on all four corners but this connects and then you got a cheap motor that I got years ago. So I'm just gonna turn it on and you can watch it walk. Come on, let's switch. Oh, there, wait, there it is. So let's take a look at that mechanism, shall we? Get into a little more detail. So here's the mechanism. As you can tell, as you can see, uh, I took the frame off of it, and if you also noticed, I, there's no supports on it. The reason there's no supports is because this, the mechanism itself, doesn't actually need the supports. The supports are just for the uh, giant honking frame that's set on top of it. And the supports are actually just sitting there holding the frame up. So, what I did was, so here's the motor, right here's the motor, and this is an axle right here, it's hard to tell, I know, but this is an axle, and it leads all the way up here into the motor. And this turns, which turns a crank, which turns a long shaft, which turns two other uh, similar cranks. And I have this on both sides. And on the bottom, I have three little tongs here that basically, if you have a wind-up toy, for example, you would know this mechanism. It's basically, it uses two forks, and then the forks interlap, interlap each other, which helps from the toy falling over. So I'm, so I'm going to turn it on with just the mechanism. As you can see, it does do a little side-to-side -side wobble. But I really can't help that because it just connects. Really weak. I'll be honest. It kind it runs it runs a lot straighter if you put it in carpet. Although it's a lot slower. Actually, I think the batteries might be dead. Hang on, let me just put fresh batteries in it and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so I put fresh batteries in it and I turned it on and there was absolutely definite better improvement. You can already tell that the uh, this motor sound is a lot higher pitched 
and it's probably moving maybe one and a half times faster. So that is incredible. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the frame and then we'll see how it runs. Okay, so now the mechanism is back on the frame. We're gonna give her another try and see if there's any improvement. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! No! No, come back here. Okay. There we go. Oh, much better. That is incredible improvement. Come on. Come on, old girl. So I think it likes going the other way more because it runs a lot smoother. Maybe not. Come on. Come on, old girl. You got her. This all. Okay, so obviously it does not like going the other way. I feel like an idiot now for saying that. <laughs> so take this toy for example. This is this has a very similar mechanism to the bipedal walker. So, like I was talking about, how it has the three tongs on his feet, this only has two on each foot. So, one here, one here on his foot, and then one here, and one here on this foot. So, so if you can imagine, forgive me, I gotta put the camera down. This is a cheap toy. Again, cheap toy. But you get the concept. The reason the tongs are there is because it's because of this. I'm going to go very sciencey for a second here. It's, there's this principle called center of gravity, and so take the chair that it's sitting on, for example. So the center of gravity happens to be right here in the center of the chair. But the reason the chair doesn't tip over is because the center of gravity is in between. The parts that are in contact with the ground. So if I were to, so I were to remove two two legs, you can imagine that the whole chair would just tip, would just tip over on the side. So that that's why there has to be tongs there, because then there's because then there is something in contact with the ground that is um, underneath the center of gravity. So that is why. I had to have the three tongs on each foot. That's pretty much it for this episode. Um, so yeah, bipedal walker, pretty cool. So if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you, do whatever you have to do. Even share it with a friend if you like. That that'd be helpful. Um, please check out my other videos. I do Lego stuff. I do connects. I do. I did one toy review, and I'm working on my channel, so I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you did all those things. Anyway, bye.